Hello friends, welcome back to the next part of apoptosis lecture where we will be discussing about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. As we have already discussed the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis, if you want to watch that video you can click the link above. So in the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis, we see it's driven by extracellular apoptotic signals or signaling molecules. Either it may be another cell initiating the pathway or the molecule secreted by other cells. So for the convenience, we divide the extrinsic pathway into two parts based on the kind of signaling molecules and receptors. First one is TNF path, tumor necrosis factor path. And the other one is FAS path, first apoptosis signal path. In the TNF path, the extracellular apoptotic signaling molecule is TNF alpha, which is a cell signaling protein cytokine produced by activated macrophages natural killer cells and CD4 positive cells. On the other hand, we have FAS path, which is first apoptosis signal pathway. In this pathway, the FAS ligand protein acts as extracellular apoptotic signaling molecule, which initiates the extrinsic apoptosis. The FAS ligand is a type 2 transmembrane protein that belongs to the tumor necrosis factor family. Now let's first discuss the TNF path in detail. Let's first try a cell which is going to receive an apoptotic signal through a receptor called TNFR1 receptor like this one which has got round shaped extracellular part which is going to receive a triggering molecule and here we have TNF alpha cytokine molecule that will initiate the apoptosis and on that receptor we have got an intracellular part as well which is basically the death domain. The intracellular death domain is silent prior to apoptotic signal once it gets apoptotic signal it gets activated so we call it inactivated tnf r1 receptor because it has not received any signal yet when the tnf alpha molecule comes in and binds with the receptor the binding of tnf alpha with the tnf r1 receptor causes the conformational change in the receptor mainly in the intracellular part of dead domain the dead domain has attached an inhibitory protein called sodd that silencer of death domains. It always keeps the death domain silent, therefore the cell survives. But once the cell receives apoptotic signal, there is a dissociation of inhibitory protein SODD from the intracellular death domain, thereby activating the death domain. Now it's no more silent as it was first. After the activation of death domain, this activated death domain recruits TRAD, T -R -A -D -D, tumor necrosis factor receptor type 1 associated dead domain protein which in turn recruits and activates FADD that's FAS associated protein with that domain FAD so after the recruitment of these two adapter molecules thereafter the FAD cleaves the pro-caspase 8 into its active form that's caspase 8 and from here the caspase cascade starts and eventually there is a cell death that's apoptosis so this is all about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis initiated by TNF alpha molecule and in the next part of video the FAS pathway will be explained in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.